appreciate it's obviously difficult after that, but just try and sum up what your emotions are. Yeah, we're a bitterly disappointed. Um, we came here with a plan to to win the game. Um, we haven't been managed to do that, so um, disappointment's a, a key word. Um, but when you give arguably one of the best teams in the world at the minute a bit of a leg up in the game and two 0 at half time, uh, it's, it's a tough it's a tough task to, to overcome. So um, we know we're better than that, but also. Um, this is where we want to be, this is the team we want to, to be like and be competing on, on all fronts like they are at the minute. Aaron, in the last two home games against City, you show so much dominance in times of possession and really forward thinking and attack and then when you come here, there is obviously an obvious difference between the two points. What, what is it about coming here do you think that changes the way you play against City? Um, oh, I'm not sure. Um, that's a question I can't really answer. You know, it's the f first time I played here as an Arsenal mm. player, um, and just for the first 45 minutes, we were a yard off the pace um, in pressing, in, in battles, and giving them chances. So, as I said, if, if you want to come here and get anything, you need to outrun and outfight them. And for 45 minutes, we were uh, just a bit off. Um, you had a sort of personal duel with Erling Haaland throughout that game. How much did you enjoy that? And you came out top most of the time. I enjoyed the whole game. Um, these games you want to be involved in. Um, you know, the, the, at the minute, the two best teams in the league going at it, and the best players on the pitch. And you know, I'm <laughs> devastated. I, I got to 94, 50 seconds, or whatever it was, and he's. I've managed to. That's probably the, the the goal which I'm most annoyed about as well, which I should save. And um, you know, it was a good battle, and um, hopefully you can have this, these battles with other players as well over the years. There's been so many twists and turns in this in this tight race. Do you have to try and keep the faith even after a night like this that anything can happen in, in the last five six games? Yeah, we're going to be disappointed now, but we've not played nine months of Premier League football and played the way we wanted to play. To, to, to give up with five games to go. If something's going to happen in football, it's going to be this league. It'll happen in. It might not do, but you no know, stranger things have happened in the Premier League. Um, you see how tight it is at the bottom. You see how tight it is at the top. Um, so we're going to be pushing every game. We've got five games left. We want to win five games, um, and we'll see how that ends at the end of the season. And, um, so yeah, we, we, we can't feel sorry for ourselves. We'll, we'll get over it tonight, and you know, the manager will do what the manager does and dissects it and, and tells us, and, and we'll work on everything we can. Do you think I have a question for you? If if you don't do it, is it more like the draws against West Ham and Southampton that you will look back on and say that's where we lost the league or, or tonight? Um, I don't know really. We haven't lost the league yet, so I can't really answer that question. How do you deal with chasing rather than pushing back City each time? And, and now it could be in a position where if they win their games in hand, you're then chasing. How does that change psychologically for players when it's chasing rather than pushing back? Um, again, not been in that position this season, so it's a difficult one to ask. Um, I know from a personal point of view in the different side, of different end of the table, you prefer to have points on the board than be chasing. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just go into each game with five games to go, trying to win all five and we'll see where that leads us and then you never know what can happen. This, this, this is a young team and a, and a young project. Do you look at City tonight and as a group think, this is where we need to get to, this is this is the stand if we want to be... Absolutely, want. absolutely. Um, no question about it, they've been one of the best teams in the league for the past five years along with Liverpool. They could potentially do a treble. Champions League quarters, semis, final from most seasons, pushing for the Premier League. So we want to get to the same sort of level as Man City, doing it our own way and competing in, as I said, four competitions like they are. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.